Hello YouTube. It's um the average tactics here with Ultimate Link. And um I mean this is part one of the tutorial for Rise of Nations. So I've got a normal game set up. I have two players here, two computer players. Um I guess I'll be the I turned off unique units, we'll do that later. Um I guess we'll go against the Germans and the Koreans, because why not? I always set my color to green because I'm a badass. These are my special abilities. Now this is like, part one's gonna be a tutorial if like literally you just bought the game. You're confused as nuts. So, this is your city. You start off with a city, a library, and three farms, and a woodcutting camp. Now, your city is where you produce citizens. Um, they're used to build things and gather resources. The library is where you use research but you also up here as long as you have a library built you can research up here quickly I set it to easily easy difficulty for demonstrative pur 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 purposes now you see this green line right here you can also see it on the map that green territory is my claimed territory now the scout you could set to auto explore he's a military unit but he can't attack he has no defense either, but he is a fast unit that can explore. So it's good for uncovering the map. Now, if you click a building that can produce units, and then right click, you, then any new created units will go there. Now this is a rare resource, and it basically adds... I'm sorry, my dog's being loud. It basically adds... 10 wood, well it's different for each one, but it adds these to your um, commerce right here. So say, see right now I'm getting plus 30 wood every 30 seconds, but with this um, I would get plus 40 wood every 30 seconds. And then cost to build wonders is reduced by 10%, so that's always good. And to collect these you need a merchant from the market. So, I think I will build a... First, you have to research... Oh, alright, so... You right-click and all new units go there. So, I'm going to build a citizen. And that's the progress of it going up. Farms produce food. Woodcutters can't obviously produce wood. And, um... So, there's buildings military buildings and wonders. We're not going to worry about these two yet. We're going to go to buildings. Right now we could build a library, a farm, and a woodcutter's camp. To get a market we have to research the commerce at the library. So there's five kinds of research. Military, which allows more military and it increases your population limit. Civics, it increases temple upgrades and also allows you to increase your borders and it allows you to create more cities. Um, commerce increases your commerce limit. Now your commerce limit is that so right now I can't get more than 70 food every 30 seconds and there would be food going to waste unless I research commerce. It also allows um, market upgrades and whatnot. Science it allows for um, upgrades at granaries and lumber yards, I think they're called, and smelters and whatnot, and it also gives things a bigger line of sight. So I'm going to start off with commerce. Now see my scout is automatically exploring, not very well, but he is. Now there's two other nations, I was originally going to have just one for easier demonstration but I decided that 
for alliance demonstrations later on in the tutorial, we would need that extra guy so we could go on and attack him. And so now, here's my citizen. Now I'm gonna build a market. I'll build it right there. The market allows you to build caravans and um, merchants, and it also allows you to buy and sell things. Oh, he's already advancing. He feels cool. Looks like we gotta step up our game. So, we're gonna build some more civilians so we can get more resources. See, I can't buy sell yet because I need commerce level level blah, level two. So I'm gonna make a merchant. Caravans basically go between cities and produce um, wealth every time it goes to that city. Temples collect taxation, which is useful. So, and merchants collect rare resources. Basically, you bring them over to the rare resource, and they build a little hut, and you get the bonuses. See, he just um, sets up a little house right there. And then, boom, now we get the upgrades. I just went up in wood production. So, we're going to research the art of war in military category because to research and advance in age, you need researches to be completed. See, now I can go up in age because I researched two. But, I'm not going to do that quite yet. I want to show you the barracks. Now, the barracks is where you make generic foot troops. Oh, now right now he's um threatening me to send him tribute or else he's gonna beat me up so he thinks oh you're cool so it's a good thing we built I actually didn't plan that but it worked out well I need a military now so it's a good thing I did that a tower is a cheap fortification that allows you, that basically just attacks enemies. So right now, I'm going to start building some units. There's light infantry, heavy infantry, and archers. But eventually, in the industrial age, archers become machine guns. But basically, they're the same thing. They're good against infantry, but bad against cavalry. Cavalry, whatever. The light infantry is good against archers and heavy infantry, but it's pretty bad against the um, cavalry. The heavy infantry are weak versus the archers and light infantry, but they're good against cavalry. So we're going to make a balanced army. We're going to make two of each. So, I think we should research science. Oh, we need more timber. So I'm going to sign these guys to the woodcutter's camp. Now you see, depending on how many trees there are it'll, in a forest, you could get more woodcutter camps. I mean, people in the woodcutting camp. Same thing with mines and mountains, but we didn't get there yet. So if you noticed, each troop comes in a group of three, like that. I'm not sure why, I guess it's just to make it look like there's more units than there actually are to make the battles better, I don't know. But, um, it doesn't make a difference whether or not there's one guy or three guys in the units. The only difference is the health. Basic, that I didn't say that very well. If you go below, if your unit goes below a certain health, one of the guys dies. If it goes below another health, another guy dies, but it doesn't make him any less, um, it doesn't make his damage any less. So I guess I'll upgrade straight to classical age. Actually, 
Whoopsies. Sorry, Skype got in the way there. Um, I'm gonna research science first because I want to build a temple where you can tax people. Fun to tax people. So I'm gonna build a temple right here. And then I'm gonna advance to classical age. I haven't, oh, there's water right here, but I really don't need a navy yet. Lookout is basically kind of useless. All it does is give a good line of sight, but it doesn't attack any enemies. So I'm in the classical age now. Now, not much looks different right now, but if you go into the barracks, you see I can upgrade my slingers to javelineers, my hoppletees to phalanx, and my bowmen to archers. So I'm gonna upgrade them all because I have the resources. Now I need it to research a civics. So I can build another city and also so I can start taxing people. I'm also gonna build a stable so I can get some cavalry. Oh, now you see, now I have knowledge and metal. And metal you get by building mines next to a mountain. And knowledge you get by building universities. So I'm going to need more citizens. So I think he should build a mine over here. And you should help. And you're going to build a city, a new city, over here. Basically, since I have two cities, I'm going to build a caravan. So since this is a medium-sized mine, I could get six people working at it. Now, he's not going to do anything until the city is built, though. Which it almost is. So I'll build a university right next to it, because I need some knowledge. But you see now he starts going between the two. And basically what that does, is every time he hits one, it produces wealth. So now you see I have my upgraded archers, it upgrades any that are currently out there in the field. So I got javelin ears, phalanx, and archers. See. There they are. And now universities, to gather wealth, they actually need scholars in them, and you have to build them. So each one holds seven, and there's already one in there. So I guess what we're going to do next is, oh, uh, we need some gold first. So I should research taxation, because it gives us gold. So everything kind of ties in together really nicely, in my opinion, at least. So I'm going to get some light horses. So let's get these two guys, and we will... Senate, we won't get into that yet. So now I'm generating more wealth. So I'm running pretty low on food, that's why I run a research science. Because if I build a granary in this city, I'll get more food from my farms. 
and if I build a what's it called if I build a lumber mill I'll get more wood and if I build a smelter in this city eventually I'll get more metal and refinery we won't worry about that but basically it allows you to get more oil but oil's not a factor yet but if you see it only it says in the same city so even though mines don't and wood cutting camps don't have to be built within a city you can't get the upgrades for them unless there's a city nearby so it's always good to have a city I also want to research military so I can show you the siege weapons it's always good to have a tower by your cities to protect them from assholes like the fucking Koreans over here who decide that they think we're stupid alright so no offense to Korean people I was just talking about in the game because they're Koreans that may have come off racist, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. Fuck, no, I don't want that. No. No, come back. You're not going in there. So, now we can build a siege factory. So, as you can see, the city's shaping up nicely rather nicely rather rather nicely and since I have military too now I can make heavy cal cavalry which is good against archers but weak versus heavy infantry pretty much all of them are weak versus heavy infantry really basically the archer I mean oh fuck the, um this is used for taking out the ranged cavalry. This is used for taking out archers. This is used for taking out the heavy infantry. Which is good, because the other horse sucks at taking out the heavy infantry. Ooh. The... What are they? The... Germans? The building pyramids? Makes sense. Makes sense. Luckily, I'm American, so I could build my first wonder instantaneously. Because I'm a boss. I think we should build a... Oh yes, yes, let's live in peace, for sure. I think we should build a granary in this city. So I think we should build it right here. You don't have to build your cities all, all nice and good like this. You can make them as spread out as you want. I just like making it look nice. It's just fun to... Well, not fun, but I just... I'm not really OCD, but when it comes to games, I'm somewhat OCD. Sort of. In a way. But in Siege Factories, you can make two things. You can make... Um, eventually three things, actually. But um, you can make weapons. So you can make Siege Weapons eventually anti-aircraft trucks and supply wagons basically supply wagons prevent attrition attrition is you research that and enemies in your territory get damaged just for being in your territory so I think we'll research that to keep our enemies at bay So we, now we have a greenery, which adds 20% to our food output. And eventually we can research upgrades that increase this even more. Forts are cool. They... Oh, here we go. We gotta fight. Alright. You ring your bell and the, ci and the civilians run into the closest garrison garrisonable building. So any forts, outposts, or cities nearby. So now I'm gonna bring my... You're retarded. Get the fuck inside. So, this is my current 
army. So this is a relatively easy battle. They didn't bring too many guys. But they, um... The attrition really helped there because they were halfway dead by the time I got there. Which is really useful. So I think for now I'm just going to keep my army there. Our, it's all, I'm going to say it's all clear. So now everyone goes back to work. Doing what they were already doing. So I don't have to reassign them. They automatically go back to what they were doing. Where's my other guy? Here it is. Let's make a lumber mill. Well, it's a lumber mill, so we should probably make it right next to the woodcutting camp. So I'm going to make some siege weapons. They're good versus buildings. But they suck at trying to kill everything else. Like, literally ev anything. It can't just... It just can't defeat anything except for buildings. So I think we should research... Commerce. No, I think I'll go for civics. So I can... Go over and build another city and increase my borders. So as I was saying, forts basically allow you to... Um, they increase your national borders and they're like really strong outposts. And they can also create generals, which is pretty useful. Not now so much, but later. That's a senate right there. We're not going to worry about that yet. It's kind of pointless, to be honest. Until later in the game. In my opinion, anyways. A at least when you're a new player. All the pros are going to be like, No, it's the most important thing. Or whatever. I honestly don't give a fuck. I'm going to build an outpost. A lookout. Not an outpost. A lookout. Just for shits and giggles. I'll put it right here, so I can see when they're coming. So let's get some heavy guys in here, and some archers. Um, and I'll show you some good attacking strategies. Now remember, I took off unique units, and unique units basically allow they're basically, they replace the standard units, depending on what nation you're in, and they have special abilities and usually have more, um, health or damage or something. Like the Americans, later in the game, instead of getting infantry, would get, um, marine infantry which, um, they do more damage, they have more health, and they entrench themselves. But we won't, we won't worry about that now. So I got a nice capital city going here, so I'm gonna age up to medieval before I go attacking. And I got a little minor city over here. Minor, literally. <laughs> no pun intended. Shut up. Um, so we're almost at medieval age and what we're gonna do in medieval age is we're gonna upgrade all our units as soon as we can and we're gonna go blitz the Koreans again not a racial slur boom boom uh, friggity frack I don't have enough gold so I'm going to upgrade my catapults to trebuchets. Going to research some commerce. Oh, my lookout's done. And I'll also build a sea-bound city by the ocean. 
Oh, and if you notice, my city turned into a large city. Because once it has, I think it's either three or five buildings, it upgrades into a large city. But it doesn't do that until medieval age. And then in, um... Major cities come in at industrial age. And I think they need either six or nine buildings. I can't really remember the numbers. But this would definitely be a major city. Because that's a lot of buildings right there. So I'm also going to need to build another caravan. And what do I have? I have a lot of wood. So wait for the number to go up and I'll sell it for a high price. Go up, damn you. Good, good, go up. Alright. And I'll sell some metal too because I got a decent amount of metal. Alright, so that's done. I'll build a dock. Now, docks can make navies, but they can also make fishing boats, which is useful. Now, it's actually not a sea. It's just a lake. But nonetheless, <laughs> couldn't hurt to have the extra city. Oh, they want peace now. I think it would be smart to accept it, because we could get stuff. Wait. I'm not doing that shit. These guys seem cool. You're the faggots. Again, no offense to gay people. I'll get that upgrade. And I'll build the little fisherman. I'll build a castle. Right by the lookout. Let's hope we find some fish or some whales in this water. Fish. We could get food from that. <coughs> Shut up, dog. I'm sorry, my dog made noise. My dog's being a bitch. Upgrade you. Do I not have a caravan? Thought I made an extra caravan. Guess not. Okay. Build you. All my units are upgraded. I'll build another trebuchet. Some extra crossbowmen. Alright, so we're about to go attack the Koreans, but first I'm going to need a supply wagon so I don't take any attrition damage. Oh, you started to wonder, huh? Colossus? What does that do? Whatever. I think I'm gonna build a wonder. Discounted smelter upgrade, I like that. Ooh, that's good too, the terracotta army. <sighs> nah, that's kind of stupid. That's not too bad. I like the Eiffel Tower because I 
could use some nice oil upgrades. But for now, I guess I'll just hold off. And just build another lookout for shits and giggles, I guess. I'll build a general, in fact. So he can lead our men into battle. Look at our army. Six javelineers, elite javelineers, four pikemen, five crossbowmen, two horse, heavy horse archers, five light cavalry, three knights, and three trebuchets, and one supply wagon, plus a general. That's a pretty decently sized army for so early in the game.